Hello, Retroburn here, aka Lamas, creator of Import at Blogspot.com, and today I am going back to my website's roots, which is to review and provide information about freeware. That's right, legal to download, free to play games. So this is Transcendence, and I know it's old. Uh, for those of you who have. Uh, noticed it's a uh, long development maybe about I think it started about two years ago I'm not sure so don't take my word for that one uh, but anyway the the creator George I forgot his surname I'll, I'll add that bit of info on my second uh, on the second part of this let's play um, he just released version 1.1 of this amazing uh, free full version PC game that lets you um, play as a space faring pilot. It's a kind of a sun sandbox game where you can um, traverse across the stars and do whatever you want to do. Like you can escort huge capital ships and or uh, play the bounty hunter and you know hunt down pirates and claim prizes in the form of equipment and or credits, gold, or whatever the unit of currency in this game here. I've played this version just about, um, maybe this is my third time in, and the sessions before that were just uh, five minute stints, so essentially this is my first um, protracted session for this game. And take note that although it's it weighs in at 17, 17 megabytes, um, the graphics, while not, while not rendered in 3D, is impressive. Uh, shadings, the colors, they all stand out while not being too gaudy. And also with version 1.1, one, um, 1 .1, the creator has put in this multiverse thing where you, you could, um, where if you log in, the game will post your uh, the stats you've accumulated through your session. So if you honor permadeath, it's going to put it in there. Uh, how much? How many ships you've killed? And yes, the stats like that. And this game is also very mod friendly. You can see a mod exchange here. I don't know what this is for. Um, about the music, I'll just have to turn it off because I don't know what copyright measures the creator ha has um, put it in place here he might complain about uh, me using the music so just to be safe I'm turning the music off anyway once the campaign begins there's no background music anyway so we're not missing much so I'm going to um, launch a new game so here we go so I've heard that this is a trilogy in the making. Uh, this is the first part. This is uh, the Stars of the Pilgrim. So what do you have here? Called by Dominion to journey to the galactic core. You leave the safe environs of your home system and explore the farthest reaches of human space. But dangers stalk your passage and even Dominion's protection is no guarantee for none who have been cold have yet returned. Will your, will your pilgrimage be more successful? Okay, so um, this is more like um, Jedi sci-fi thing where um, you're given Dominion powers from what I've read, so, but I'm not familiar wh what they do. But um, what I've noticed that um, it's like, although it's like uh, the Jedi thing in Star Wars, but unlike in Mass Effect 3 where a psychic and biotic powers, the biotic powers are explained through um, technological means like those bi biotic uh, implants. Here I think it's more of a religion thing. So anyway, let's see. Uh, going to the next page. Oh, okay, so I think this is the part where you choose stories, but we don't have mod installed, so let's just click OK. So from what I've read, you can choose among three three ships so we've got the uh, E1 500 class freighter it's it's low it's big 
it's lumbering but um, it has a huge cargo space uh, there 200 ton cargo hold so this is perfect for um, players who want the hand solo Mil millennium falcon type where you could you could um, you know purchase and hold more goods to trade to other star systems or space stations the downside is you really don't have much in the way of weapons the first time when you launch the game so you've only got this wimpy omnidirectional laser cannon uh, this is what really my curiosity about this game because um, if you've noticed uh, different different weapons have different uh, damage class damage types like this one is laser but um, you see here this is kinetic and the armor too have resistances against kinetic and um, this help plate ionizer has a 215% resistance against kinetic weapons minus 25% against positron beams and uh, a plus 25% um, resistance against uh, what's this blast how do I know this I actually have a <laughs> print printout of the different <laughs> damage types so I'm currently reading on my table what damage type these icons represent so uh, there are actually how many let me count um, I think we've got no less than 16 damage types here ranging from laser kinetic particle beam blast ion thermonuclear positron beam plasma antimatter nanotech graviton singularity dark acid dark steel dark lightning dark fire um, whoa the last bits are Pokemon-ish <laughs> but anyway um, so going back to the ships ship classes so the class the uh, the freighter thing is the lumbering lumbering type of ship but it is a larger cargo hold than these two so the sapphire class yacht I think is the middle ground between the E1500 and the Wolfen class gunship the Wolfen class gunship has the more weapons, but it has it has the most uh, it has the tiny tiniest cargo hold with only with only a 35 ton capacity, but it also has a Nami missile launcher straight off the bat, so you can really hit the ground running with this this thing, in terms of you know firepower. But uh, I hope you don't mind. But I'm more of um, X X gamer, you know those X game Terran conflict beyond the frontier. So I'm going to choose the E1500. Also, I think I've got terrible aim with this game, so the omnidirectional laser cannon, which will uh, lock lock into enemy bogies, will make up for my lousy aiming. So I'm gonna choose human male. No sense in picking human female when you can see the sexy avatars that the usual MMO um, throw out at players so okay let's begin when the dream came you knew Dominia has chosen you you'd sacrifice everything for the chance she offered to join her oh this sounds so wrong the galactic core the eternal temple of the gods leaving your former life behind you begin the long journey no matter what obstacles lie in your path, you will not fail Domina. Oh, it's Domina. It's not Dominia. Okay, sorry about that. You will reach the Galactic Core. That depends on my skills this. So, onwards. Okay, welcome to Transcendence. No. I don't think this thing has mouse controls. Nope. So, it's up to the keyboard. Um, so, pushing up and down produces thrust and just like in other space games uh, there's no friction there's only the vacuum of space so you push thrust your vehicle is just going to go in whatever direction you've oops okay so we want to be ramming into these space stations that's nice press D to dock Okay, so you are docked at an abbey of the Sisters of Dominia. 
A woman fairing, wearing a flowing red robe approaches you. Welcome, pilgrim. Welcome, pilgrim. <laughs> anyway, I'm terrible at doing female voices, so I'll leave you to read the text. So, who is Damina? Okay. Riddles, riddles. Stargates will take you. Seek them out and enter. Kind of obstacles. Okay, but if you can overcome them, you might be able to improve the weapons and armor of your ship. Okay, done. Stith. No, I'm not going to give anyway. Uh, anything? I've only got 268 credits. I think I need every one of those. Sanctum. Offer item. Contemplate. Luminous veils dance in your head as your consciousness trains to hear the distant voice. Okay. Five in the Stargate to the next system, and you'll be one step nearer to your goal. Okay. Refuel ship, repair armor, done. Okay, so undock. There's nothing here left for us to learn, so press M to see a map of the system. So we, okay, there you go. Oh, we can still move using this map. Nice. Okay, so let's go here. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Ah, uh, I don't think those, whoa, 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 whoa. Dudes. Okay, pressing control fires. <laughs> nice. Okay, first blood. Okay, so the green thing is you see in the upper right corner are friendly installations and uh, spacecraft. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, firing retro thrusters. Docking. Dock at habitat made out of shipping containers. Children bounce off the bulkhead in zero gravity while maintenance workers repair leaky seals and how do you pronounce that? Bulky machinery. Station master approaches you. We don't get many pilgrims visiting around here. Why don't you give us some of your worldly possessions? They won't do you much good at the core wherever you're trying to get. Ha huh? what? No. Okay, buy items. Impala Refueling, your most reliable source of starship fuel and a member of the Earth Industries conglomerate. All our fuel has been produced to the exacting standards required by today's reactors. Buy items. Let's see what they've got. Helium reactor assemblies. Fuel rods. Okay. Okay, so they've got water, liquid oxygen, some dock. Okay, what part of the map was that? Okay. So I'm trying to see if there are quests. Fuel, install device, remove device, upgrade reactor. No, I need weapons and shields, not reactor. What good would a superior reactor do if we're just cannon fodder? Okay, go to level 5. Why is my heart beating hard? That's weird. Maybe I've inadvertently triggered um, text that should have been triggered at a later time. Okay, docking here. So, it's a packed station. And 
a very poor one too. Okay, Mi Jing Hao. Okay, a quest at last. Okay, accept. Um. Okay, what do I do to uh, determine what direction I should be going? Show map of entire system. Is that the one with the yellow crosshair? Okay, we'll try that one. Okay, going, going. Keep on swimming, keep on. Oh, okay, there you go. Centauri Warlord's Camp. I hope my. This let's play won't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, shields are holding. Okay, we're hitting it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woohoo! Okay. That wasn't so bad. And we've uh, survived that encounter without even a scratch. So, could we do salvage? Um, we can hit the asteroids. No stations in range. Okay, there you go. Okay, loot. Your dock, the lifeless ruins of a destroyed station. Wrecked machinery and smoldering bodies litter the silent cavernous bay. Okay, let's do loot. Okay, so we've got a heavy recoilless cannon, kinetic level 2. Six. What's HP? Is that hit points? Three eight point shots per second. It's a two point two megawatt thing. Heavier version of the common recoilless cannon. Okay, loot. Okay, done. And a dock. What's that green thing over there? Okay, it's the space wreck of the one of the. Uh, pirates we just destroyed. Okay, back of a ship. Darn it. Okay, undock. So nothing to do here, but go back to Habitat Beta 90. Use item. Um, accessing controls. Oh, okay, here we go. Use item. We've got you. Select primary weapon. Select missile. Missile to launch. Next target. T. We've got. We don't have a target targeting module installed. So. Squadron orders. Nope. So uh, let's see what you would produce. Armor patch. Targeting program. Nope. Um, so how do we install the what we just looted? Okay, engaging autopilot. Hey, 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 hey. Great work. Okay, you deposited 300 credits to your account. Okay, and docking. What's this for? Oh, it's just a nav beacon.
habit as alpha 51 okay no quests here so we're going, going to undock go back to that huge facility I think I saw a choice here where you could install items so let's go let's go install device um, install device D install this device uh, for 100 credits where could I view my current equipment we've got arrows as for rotate and thrust engage autopilot dock F2 is, is going to show us game statistics so F2 nothing there exploration items installed omnidirectional laser cannon is not going to tell us much so um, Yeah, so we're just going to install this device. Should we upgrade our reactor? Mm, how much is... Ooh, 11,500 credits, what? No. Even if I've got that uh, amount, I'm not going to shell out that much so uh, what's the price of the other one 6450 still too much um, okay so fire primary system shift fire missile launcher um, dock use item I'm trying to see uh, how you could shift between the omnidirectional thing and the ah, select primary weapon to use so that's the W okay so this thing doesn't use uh, ammo right I don't see any numbers that change okay okay oh this is same place okay so nothing there so I'm going to uh, do one more quest and then I'm going to cut this first part of our let's play transcendence version 1.1 and no no way I'm still a very destitute spacefarer so no donations for now anyway what's in it for me if I donate something okay going up going up okay large saucer thingy no not this one how do I get here okay there you go information okay nice welcome to the Eridani system and to station Eridani so okay so this is the core station I think settled in 2176 our small star system is one of the most friendly in all the Commonwealth whatever your purpose here whether business or pleasure we're sure that you will enjoy your stay service information far from St. Catherine star the airy Dana system is at the backwater station shown in the three DVs. Ready for visitors. Prefer a quieter time. Travel out to St. John's Ice Moon and visit the monastery of the Sisters of Dominia. Domina. So that's where we originated, where we came from. Mm, corporate enclave, enclave, enclave. Near a start zone, Airy Dana also trades and supplies. Okay, sell legal go goods. Okay, 
Okay, safety information. Charon Pirates Centauri Warlords. Okay, fun facts. Ares Fleet. I think this will go on forever, so we're pressed down. Commodities exchange. Buy items. We've got a kinetic blast. Oh, we've got old missile launcher. Nice. And it's got a turbo laser cannon. Someone's firing. The hell? One one credits. One six fifty. Okay, random event, cool. I think that was unscripted. Okay, going back, buying items. We've got a mosque. Uh, oh, it's an omnidirectional turret, nice. Uh, 4.5 HP. Oh man, so expensive. Maybe we could find a um, cheaper omnidirectional uh, cannon. Smart cannon rounds. This is a um, shield, right? Class 1 deflector, 550. Starship device. <laughs> Why the hell should I buy that one? Okay. Level 3. Light blast steel. I think uh, our enemies here usually fire kinetic from what we've seen, so we'll base our purchase on that. So this one looks good. It's a plus 170 against kinetic damage. Titanium. Okay, so I think we we're going to buy that one seven plus one seventy thing. Three thirty credits. Okay. Done. Sell. Okay, send dock services, Replay, repair, replace armor, install device, cancel, it's not damaged. Okay, so... For 40 credits. Darn it, I'm losing money. Okay, there you go. It's HP 50. So we can now sell that one, right? Uh, Don. 
so in C cell items um, 37 credits okay there you go okay pleasure doing business with you let's find more quests These things are expensive, 550. Whoa, ah, okay. And dock. Corporate level. Leave residential. Okay, maintenance. Nothing here either, so let's just undock. Slow down, boyo. Commodities exchange. Okay, so they sell blood and meds. Okay, and dark. Okay, Habitat Delta 20. Okay, another quest. So, we're going to accept this one. And let's hope we don't get blown to smithereens. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use the omnidirectional cannon. That's how sucky I am. There you go. Okay. They're hiding behind the moon. Brings back memories of the first Star Wars. Okay, we'll do a flyby. Okay, shields are holding. Okay, docking. Let's see what we can loot here. Okay, oh. looting. We've got. Um, I've got a damage recoilless cannon. Whoa! Four segments of light Urak armor. Okay, nice. I wonder if I run out of space and leave. If I return, would it s would the wreck still contain the the items? I am so going to install those armor platings. I've whoa trouble. Let's help them. Okay, taken care of. So let's go back to Habitat Delta 20. And once install those plates of armor, I'm going to um, end this, th this first part of our Let's Play Transcendence version 1.1.
Okay, docking here. Okay, 300 credits. <clears throat> okay, so nothing. So let's undock. Install and sell the uh, armor plating we just purchased. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. So while it has a resistance, says the HP is much lower. But I think the resistances can uh, compensate. So let's just replace all of these. And pray that I've done the right thing. <laughs> okay, done. So, um, okay, done. And we should sell the extra Urak armor. And three segments um, should die. Fuel rods. 22 credits for each helium fuel rod. But let's not sell this. We might run out of fuel. I think we can still use that. Um, I don't think we can. Pressing F1. Use item. Stop the ship. Select primary weapon. Select missile to launch. Next target. To pause the game. Show statistics. Ah, uh, there you go. Ship status, refuel, view to cargo, jet to jettison. So let's press S. Ah, uh, okay, there you go. Can't we sell this damage recoilless rifle? Okay, so um, this has been Retroburn, aka Damas, creator from the court at blogspot.com, and you've just seen part one of our Let's Play Transcendence version 1.1. So, see you around in the next part. Stay cool, stay frosty.